Urban runoff, a toxic soup of heavy metals, bacteria, and other pollutants. It's the enemy of creek and ocean water quality. When it doesn't rain, the ill effects of stormwater runoff aren't alleviated, they're merely delayed, resulting in an even more concentrated concoction when the water begins to fall. To address this polluting perpetrator, the Creeks Division has begun employing a low-tech solution that has given them high hopes, the permeable paver. Permeable pavers are per, uh, concrete paving stones, uh, and they have gaps in between them to where water can pass through. And when it rains, water passes through those pavers and it percolates down into a, uh, a rock layers that don't have any sand between them. So it acts as a water storage and gives it, gives it time for that storm water to infiltrate into the ground. The paver's ability to capture rainwater makes the material much more environmentally friendly than the impermeable surfaces that currently cover most of Santa Barbara. Streets, sidewalks, alleys, and parking lots cover a, a very large area of the city and they're all covered with impermeable surfaces. And what happens is pollutants get onto those surfaces and whenever it rains, all those pollutants are washed untreated into the creeks and out to the ocean. Instead of letting polluted water flow directly into these important ecosystems, permeable surfaces trap stormwater at the source. The stones would go on top of a bedding layer of rock, about a two inch bedding layer. And, uh, and then below that bedding layer is a a uh, slightly larger stone, four inches, a four inch layer of a slightly larger stone. And then below that is a, is a bigger stone called a number two stone. And uh, this creates the foundation for the entire basin. The permeable paver system does more than simply contain the stormwater. Microscopic organisms beneath the pavers actively treat pollution through natural processes. Studies have also shown that microbes will reside on the surfaces of these rocks. There's a lot of surface area where microbes will reside, and so you actually get a lot of pollutant treatment before it even gets to that subgrade soil. To demonstrate the benefits of this natural form of stormwater management, Santa Barbara's Creeks Division installed permeable pavers in the parking lot of Mackenzie Park in 2011. The development's positive results led Creeks to renovate several more lots in 2013. We've removed over 100,000 square feet of asphalt and replaced it with permeable pavers. Statewide, Santa Barbara has been a leader in this type of low impact development strategy. Encouraged by the success of these projects, the city is about to break new ground in permeable paver development. We're moving out of the demonstration projects we've done in parking lots and into other urban hardscape areas like sidewalks and alleyways. To demonstrate the benefits of permeable paving on sidewalks, the city will target Alice Keck Park Memorial Gardens. The sidewalk that borders this beautiful area downtown will receive a much needed facelift. We chose that location because it, it provided some sidewalks with a slope, some sidewalks that are flat. Uh, the soils in the area work for infiltrating water and it's a highly visible area. The sidewalks at Alice Keck Park aren't the only location receiving permeable pavers this summer. The Creeks Division also plans to renovate this park's service road, located alongside Plaza de Veracruz downtown. It's an area that's, that's highly traveled by many vehicles crossing through, the, crossing through the park, and it's a different use than what we've, what we've done before with demonstration projects in parking lots. The city service road is bordered by the park on one side and local businesses on the other. Permeable pavers will continue to allow access for vehicles while providing much needed stormwater management to this busy urban center. The Creeks Division hopes the service road makes a strong case for similar development in the future. If this service road can be repaved from asphalt to permeable pavers, then other alleyways through the city will be able to uh, have that permeable paver treatment as well. While permeable paver projects may have higher upfront costs than asphalt, the surface materials will ultimately save the city money. Permeable pavers will last longer than asphalt. Uh, they have the lifespan of concrete because they're a concrete product, but they also have the cracks and the gaps built in. And so whereas concrete over time will start to crack and fissure, if each concrete paver does actually get a crack in it, we can easily replace that pretty cheaply. Asphalt is not designed to last nearly as long as concrete, uh, and asphalt does require ongoing maintenance. And so over time, you actually save money using permeable pavers. 
In addition to the paver's long-term durability, state grant funding greatly reduces the project's upfront cost. Because of the city's past success with permeable paver projects and low-impact development projects, we've been successful with a grant application for this current project in that 80% of the project will be funded through Proposition 84 bond funds coming in from the state. One, two, three, and there we go. Following the success of the Creeks Division's permeable paver program, Santa Barbara's Public Works Department will, for the first time, use the material in their own projects this summer. Public Works is installing permeable pavers in our uh, facilities yard and our parks and recreation yard, which is, spans the block of Laguna between Coda and uh, Ortega. Rather than allowing it to simply wash away, the new lots will capture rainfall, helping recharge the city's crucial groundwater resources. We're going to be taking all of the uh, asphalt on this parking lot and the adjacent parking lot and replacing it with permeable pavers. So it'll basically be able to infiltrate all stormwater runoff off of the buildings and it falls directly onto the parking lot. After completing this summer's projects, the Creeks Division will go even further to integrate the pavers into city infrastructure. And for good reason. The innovative surface materials save money, control stormwater, and reduce pollution. Not bad for something you'd hardly notice beneath your feet.